Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. I'm pleased to be joined with today, Mr. Chad Brecklin from the police department. Chad, welcome in today. How are you doing today, Andrew? I'm good. I don't think I've ever interviewed you. No, we have never been on the show together. On, yep. Yeah, I've always yep. been back where I normally am back there. Yeah, Jeremy must be keeping us apart for a particular reason. <laughs> I wonder why that is. Well, we'll, we'll see today, yeah. I guess, if yeah, anything exactly. happens. Yeah, exactly. You good. know, when we hit that out of the park with the show today, we'll know why he's keeping us apart. Man, he's just, yeah, he, mm -hmm. he wants to keep the, mm -hmm. the limelight on him. Yep, not, yeah, that's share. Just what he's all about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, Jeremy. Anyways. Well, <laughs> no, we're not. Yeah, no, okay. Well, thanks for coming in, Chad. So we had a couple of good events happened in the last uh since we last saw you yeah uh so we're gonna talk about those and then hopefully have some time for some holiday sure tips with the holidays coming up next week it's, okay can't believe it's already here i know it um, is hard to believe it's crazy yeah so first we're gonna start with uh and we featured this as well is shop with a cop mm -hmm. so how did that event go this year for you guys shop with a cop went great uh as always i think this is the third or fourth year that we've participated uh with the dane county agencies that have been doing shop with a cop for quite some time uh, there were six kids that we were able to participate with here in Fitchburg. Uh, we had a great time, obviously, going to the East Side Target and uh, putting together a, a cart full of gifts for the, the child's family as well as uh, some things for the child himself. Uh, then we went back to the VFW in uh, the south side of Madison, did the gift wrapping, had lunch, and then uh, took the kids back home. Uh, it was a great event. Uh, overall, I think I heard that there were 95 kids uh, served through the program this awesome. year uh, throughout Dane County, mm -hmm. uh, at least through this portion of the program. And it's just an, a great opportunity for us to to interact with the community, be visible in the community in a different way than what people would typically expect us to, to be engaged in. Mm -hmm. And it's an opportunity for us to demonstrate that we are here uh, in a service capacity to help uh, improve uh, people's situation, uh, even though there are obviously certain circumstances where that may not always seem like that's the case. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I, I love this event. It's such mm -hmm. a cool event. It's so nice to see you guys be out in the community like you all are every day, mm -hmm. but in, in a different way. And yeah. It's just such a cool event to see, and you know, we were out there and filmed some mm -hmm. video and saw um, Drago even was yep, out there Drago joining. Was there, 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 there yep. and mm -hmm. he's riding in the cart most of the time, so he, he was having a good he day. He is always the most popular <laughs> member of the Fitchburg Police Department, oh, yeah. and rightfully so. Absolutely, yep. Absolutely. he's a great, and, great dog, and and his handler John Parker does awesome as yeah, well. They're really good, mm -hmm. and um, I just love the scene. We have some video we'll show here about. Yeah. Um, uh, the the wrapping part mm -hmm. like it's it's just packed of <laughs> everyone wrapping gifts and it's it's a it's a really cool view to see all yeah. these different police departments working together it's and, it's really organized chaos yeah, uh, yeah the VFW definitely. and the um, program organizers do a great job mm -hmm. getting all the materials the wrapping paper that's the scotch tape the boxes the bags and, and there's a lot uh, of clearly uh, there's a reason we're in policing it's because uh, we're not good at wrapping <laughs> gifts. Uh, there's usually a few heads that have to be put together when uh, an odd-shaped item is purchased, right. and we're trying yeah. to figure out <laughs> how are we going to get this thing wrapped or packaged so that it, it, it stays in that fashion exactly. until Christmas. So uh, there's probably some measure of comedy associated with watching I mean, a bunch of police officers <laughs> trying to wrap you know, literally hundreds, if not thousands of gifts. Yes. So, yeah, it's, there's some humor to it, no well, doubt. Yeah, but either way, it's a very good cause. Mm -hmm. and I'm glad you had another successful year. Yeah. Hopefully next year you guys yep, will be involved absolutely. again. Absolutely. We certainly intend to be involved for awesome. quite some time. Awesome. And then we had a recent event. It just happened on the uh, uh, the 17th. Yeah. Um, it was the Hands for Holidays, yes. which was done at the Boys and Girls Club here in Fitchburg. So how did, how was that, what was that for and how'd that go? Yeah, this was a new event for us. Okay. Uh, hy V here in Fitchburg contacted uh, the Fitchburg Public Safety Departments and stated that they were looking to donate about 300 hams to the Fitchburg wow. uh, community and thought about, you know, where could that take place and could the public safety agencies help them with the distribution. This is obviously uh, something that is clearly something that we wanted to be a part of. Mm -hmm. And we worked with the Boys and Girls Club, and they pulled up a semi uh, with a couple pallets full of hams. And we all worked together to, to unbox those hams, bag them up. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a nice line that had formed uh, prior to the distribution time beginning. And it was really nice to be able to provide 
uh, families with uh, one or more hams that they can utilize for awesome. their upcoming holiday dinner. That's amazing. And this was like a full. Yeah, like I mean, it was. Yeah, it was. It truck. was like a football. Yeah, I mean, it's like they the were. Big shoulder. Yep, yeah. they were. They were the real deal. That's no awesome. doubt about it. Um, they looked great. Uh, I think that folks should definitely be happy with the outcome mm-hmm. on those hams once they bake them all up. And, yeah. you know, awesome. I think some people will yeah. really enjoy their holiday dinner because oh, of uh, Hy-Vee's uh, generosity. I mean, they yeah. really, Hy-Vee really deserves the credit for this. Um, it's apparently a program that they've done in other areas before. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the first time that it's happened here in Fitchburg, and um, it was really nice to see the smile on people's faces as they were getting that ham. Uh, that they can use for the holidays. Yeah, well, it's you know, it's the giving time of year. It's just a great thing to mm-hmm. see mm-hmm. these local businesses around help out. I mean, that's a lot of ham. Yeah, it is. Three hundred hams. Yeah, that's a lot. It is. So it's it's amazing to see, Absolutely. like you said, the looks on these yep. uh, families' faces. Yep. That's amazing. It was it was great great event, and you know, hopefully they'll be able to bring it back here to Fitchburg again yeah. uh, next year. Uh, and, and if so, we'll be happy to participate again. Awesome, perfect. Well, those are really good events. And uh, quickly here, just got another minute or so. Just some quick holiday safety tips uh, with the upcoming holiday. Well, I'll try to talk fast. So if you are headed out of town, I encourage yeah. folks to use our vacation watch service. All mm-hmm. they have to do is go on our website and they can fill out a, a fillable form there. And as our time permits, we'll have an officer swing by uh, the house and just make sure that everything looks in order from the outside. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, let your neighbors know if you're going to be gone. Uh, you know, stop your paper delivery, stop your mail delivery, those sorts of things, or have mm-hmm. somebody stop by and pick them up. If you have some motion lights, I'd still make sure that those are activated. And sometimes it's never a bad idea to have lights on a timer too, just to give the appearance that you're you're still at home. Mm-hmm. And as always, please lock your house, lock mm-hmm. your windows, lock your garage, lock the door from your garage into your house. Yes. And do not keep valuables, keys, or garage door openers in your cars, uh, particularly if you're going to be gone for an extended period of time. Yes. Uh, but by all means, with the cars, just keep them locked. Mm-hmm. No keys in them. No keys. Yeah, keep the yes. keys out and the garage doors. Yes. Especially if you're going to be gone. Yes. Like, it's do not, easy access. Do not allow an opportunity for you to become a victim. Mm-hmm. Please take steps that you can take to help minimize your risk of becoming a victim of crime. Um, but by all means, enjoy the holidays. Yes. I hope everyone travels safely. We, we won't even get into driving tips no. uh, as <laughs> well. Uh, but, you know, people just should take their time, wear mm-hmm. their seatbelt, and awesome. uh, not drink and drive. Great. Well, I know it's an uh, invaluable service you guys mm-hmm. do of having the vacation watch during this time, especially this time of year. It's, yeah. it's a great service to um, use. So mm-hmm. please use it. If you're yes, out there, please use, use it. it. Yeah. We uh, want to serve the community, and that's mm-hmm. one of the ways that we can add some value to the uh, services that we provide here at the police department. Perfect. Well, Chad, I thank you again for coming in today. Mm-hmm. Has some great stories, great events, and great holidays coming up. So you have a happy holidays. Happy holidays we'll to you as you, well. Thank you. And we'll see you next year. Yes, we will. <laughs> All right. 2019, hard to believe. All right. Thanks, Chad. All right, and you stay right there. We'll be right back. This is Talking Fitchburg.